This is a fun, maybe a little scary, cradle drop to an inside leg hang. Prerequisites for this is a cradle and an inside leg hang. Okay, so you should definitely be comfortable with both those. This is not the best way to learn your inside leg hang. So you should already be solid in your inside leg hang. Okay, so for this one, um, initially, you are going to want to have a little bit of height when you're making it a full drop. But in the beginning, when we're kind of going step, 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 don't feel like you need to be super high. Okay, first you want to sort out where our head is, where our legs are, all those things. And then you can get dramatic with it and start making it a full drop, however much pull height you have. This works on spin. It works on static. Some drops kind of throw off the spin. This one doesn't really throw off the spin. The pole seems to hold its momentum fairly well with this one. So always be safe. Have a spotter. Have a mat underneath you. Stay within your comfort zone. Only go as far into this as you feel comfortable and safe doing. Okay? So for this, you're going to want to get into your cradle however you prefer to enter it, okay? And quite often, you know, sometimes we're comfortable getting to our cradle down low, but not up high. You can start working this down low, even if you're still not comfortable with the cradle higher up. So for my cradle, first thing that's really important is I want to be able to drop to parallel, okay? Which means my head and my butt are almost the same height. I don't wanna be up here, because otherwise that's gonna make this drop not really work, okay? Because our goal, once we're from the cradle to the drop, is to have our head go from parallel to down. And if we're starting above parallel, it's gonna be chunky, it's gonna be even more scary, and more margin for error, okay? So the first step is that cradle. Before we even start getting into what the hands are doing here, let's just look at the transition from a cradle to an inside leg kick, okay? Maybe that transition is new to you. Maybe you've never gone on into it that way. So if this is a newer transition to you, head definitely low, I'm going to go from my cradle, my top hand, I want to push, okay? Right now, my hips and my belly button are towards the pole. I'm going to push with my top hand, rotate so I can hook my inside leg to drop to that inside leg hip, okay? So starting at this height, even though you end up on the ground, is a good place to start of like, okay, just so I know where everything's going, Confirm you're not going to die. Always a good place to start, <laughs> okay? That being said, starting it down low, I do find sometimes is a little bit harder because here's something that some of you are going to run into. If you're having a hard time hooking that inside leg, it's most often because you're not dropping your head enough. And if we're too close to the floor, we don't have much room to drop our head, okay? So unless you're super flexible with that leg, it's hard to bring that leg up high enough to be able to hook it, okay? So if you are trying this down low and you're like, there is no way I can hook this inside leg. Like I'm gonna die up there. You might actually find it's easier when you give yourself a little bit of height because you have more room to drop your head, okay? So one of the common things with this, not be able to hook that inside leg, and one of the things you should watch for, video yourself and look and be like, did I drop my head or was I trying to keep my head up here and watch and see what my booty was doing, okay? Common mistake. So you wanna feel that transition first. And like I said, if it's feeling funky down low or not working, Take it up a little bit to your cradle. Drop, drop, drop that head. Push with that hand as you rotate. Think of flat line. And then if the flat line feels good, then you take it down to that leg hang. So we've got the first transition, the cradle to the inside leg hang. You want to have that first, step one. Step two, if you sorted that out, is Next step is be able to get into that position where we can start to go to a relatively, uh, what they call no-handed cradle. It's not actually no-handed. Your arms are on the pole, okay? But your hands aren't holding the pole, okay? Um, also, back to the cradle to the inside leg hang. Um, really important thing on this one too is the direction of your hips. I kind of briefly mentioned this, but when we're in the cradle, our hip bones are facing towards the pole, okay? Think about it, when you get to an inside leg hang, your hip bones should be pointing towards the sky, okay? If you're not rotating your hips enough towards the sky, you're also gonna have a hard time hooking that inside leg. So that's another thing to watch for. If you're having trouble with this transition, think of, okay, first I'm in my cradle and your hips might be here or here in your cradle, that's okay initially, but I need to go all the way to here, tip away from the pole enough that my inside leg has room to catch, okay? Okay, so now transitioning to can we hold our cradle and not need las manos? So for this, a no-handed cradle 
is different with different bodies, okay? Um, depending on whether you're thicker around the middle, thicker in the thighs, remember pole is all shapes and sizes, which is one of the awesome things about pole. But based on shape and size, sometimes the technique of a trick is a little bit different, okay? So for me personally, I use my forms when I'm in my no-handed cradle. Okay. For some of you, you might not need your forearms. It might be enough to just crouch in and grab your legs. Okay. So some people that maybe have a little bit more in the midsection or just have bigger thighs, they're able to close this gap enough that they have enough contact to, to stay solid there. Okay. So for some of you, if the forearms, you know, maybe the forearms are not your favorite and you just grab, that's awesome. For some of you, if you're trying to grab and you're like, I'm just going to plummet to my death, you're gonna use your forms, okay? So we're gonna talk about that technique on this. You're gonna start it from the ground. We're gonna start in our cradle. And then from here, once again, body parallel. I'm going to transition my bottom arm first. I'm gonna push with my hand. I open my fingers, slide until my forearm is on the pole and grab my leg. Then you can transition with the top hand as well, okay? So you always wanna move the bottom arm first. <laughs> Yes, you can move the top arm first, but if you move the top arm first, it's gonna be a hurry up and move the bottom one and hope that I grab in time before I slide down, okay? If you move the bottom arm first, it's gonna be much more secure, okay? So the motion of what's happening with that bottom arm, my fingers are down in my cradle. I'm gonna open my fingers, but I'm still pushing with my hand and I'm gonna slide to my forearm, okay? So I never actually take my hand off the pole. It's a contact push, 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 push until it gets to my forearm. And placement as far as where it is on the forearm, it's gonna be different for everyone depending on length of your arms, like your torso, legs, all those things. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's not above your elbow, it's somewhere in this section, wherever it feels best for you, wherever it's the most comfortable, wherever it's the most secure, okay? So that's our cradle position getting into our no-handed because once we get to our no-handed, then we get to that foot grab, which makes this drop that much more death-defying. Okay, very important. When you go to this cradle to prep for the drop, you want to make sure whichever is your bottom leg, that ankle is crossed on top, okay? So if I'm in a cradle tipping towards my right, that means my right leg is down, that means my right leg will be crossed on top, and you're grabbing opposite hand to leg. So I'll end up, boop, like this. Okay, so opposite arm to leg, so really important, okay? Any of you who have done silks and you're going to do a drop in silks, it's a lot of those drops, it is very important whether you have right over left or left over right. This is one of those, okay? So whichever is your bottom leg, that ankle must be on top. Cannot emphasize that enough, okay? So from here, we've got our no-handed cradle. We've got the transition from a regular cradle with hands to an inside leg hang. Now we're gonna start working towards this progression of no hands to no hands, okay? So you are gonna to wanna to take it up a little bit higher, but you don't have to be high. And if you do have a mat, like I have a hard floor here, so I don't wanna do it super low because even if I clunk two inches, it doesn't feel good. If you have a mat, you can start super low and like doesn't matter if you're on the ground. Like you're not trying to hit a full inside leg hang, you're just trying to sort out what's happening with your body, okay? For me personally, without a mat, I wanna have a little more space so that I'm not gonna slide down and run into the floor, okay? So we're gonna take it up to that cradle. We're gonna get to our no-handed cradle, but initially for this transition, you're only gonna transition one hand, okay? So step one on this transition was we had fully both hands cradle to inside leg hang or flat line. Now we're gonna go one hand to inside leg hang, okay? So up to our cradle, okay? We're here. I'm going to cross my right leg over the top. I'm going to grab my right leg, start to slide, see my hand slide, to here, okay? That second hand doesn't have to be grabbing the leg. Okay, that second hand where I eventually take my bottom hand and grab the other leg, it's just for looks. It's not doing anything, okay? Watch also when I'm doing this. I don't know if you noticed, but when I did that, I didn't really drop my head, okay? Which, not ideal, but I also have a tendency when I'm looking at the camera to keep my head up here as I'm talking to people. Do as I say, down as I do. You will find it's much easier for this drop to work if you drop your head. Also, as I said earlier, the more flexible you are in your hips, the more you can cheat by having your head up, 
But if I'm doing the drop with like the full, like dramatic everything, I try to think of dropping my head and looking for the ground. It looks better. It's more secure. Just all the things. Think your goal is to drop your head as much as possible. Even if you don't see me doing this now as I'm talking to you. Okay, so we've got the one-handed version. Okay, one-handed version might feel a little scary, but you can do it super slow. Grab that foot, bottom foot, slide, slide, slide your hand. And then remember, same concept as before when we had both hands was we go from hips facing the pole to hips facing the ceiling, okay? So if that's starting to like, okay, I didn't die and maybe I'm ready for a little bit more. Now we've already got no handed cradle. You're gonna grab both legs, okay? But remember, even though we just did it with one hand and we just grabbed with the top hand, when you transition to your no-handed cradle, transition bottom arm, top arm, and then grab your ankles, okay? Because it's much harder to go top arm, bottom arm. You're gonna feel like you lose some elevation. Okay, so let's put the whole enchilada together. We're gonna take it up, and once again, if you have a mat, you can do this lower, and, and or use a spotter. So our cradle, bottom leg over the top, bottom arm first, top arm, grab the ankles. Lean back and drop. And then once you're in it, this foot, kick your foot to the ground. We tend to kind of pull it here, kick, so it gives you a nicer shape. And then from there, whoa. So this is our cradle, no-handed drop to an inside leg hang or flat line, depending on where you stop it. You can make it fast, you can make it slow, you can do it on spin, you can do it on static, you can make it dramatic. Do you, whatever floats your boat, work through these progressions. Make sure, like with all pole moves, don't go to the next step until you're feeling secure and solid and safe in the previous step, okay? Take your time. Maybe this uh, cradle to inside leg hang transition is new to you. Take some time getting comfortable with that. And then when I say take some time, that could be days, weeks, months, years. Save this tutorial, put it in your back pocket, save it for down the road, and then you can come back and move to the next step. So have some fun. I would love to see it. If you want to put it together in a combo, spin static with some of your other favorite moves, I would love to see that too. You can make it drop farther, but keep in mind, if you're on a shorter pole, limited drop. <laughs> but would love to hear your feedback and see how it's going. So make sure you tag me in it. Hashtag Elizabeth Beefit made me do it. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard to the